Hello and welcome to the series of video tutorials brought to you by IMFX at www.imfx.com. The purpose of these tutorials is to help you to get the most out of your experience with MetaTrader 4, also known as MT4. This video tutorial will cover the market watch function of MT4. The first item to notice is the time is kept in Greenwich Mean Time, also known as GMT. This is vital for the use of many trading robots, also known as expert advisors, those that need to keep track of time. The next thing we will notice, now that we've downloaded our MetaTrader 4 platform from the IMFX website, is it appears as though all the currencies are not showing. There is a simple fix. We right click and click on show all and instantly all of the currencies that are available through IMFX are shown. The next item we notice is it says waiting for update. This generally happens when we are running a demo account for the first time and it can also happen with live accounts when the broker might change a feed for example. There's a very simple fix. We see that we are on the pound dollar currency. We then find the pound dollar and we left click, drag and drop the currency onto the chart and we are able to now have the correct feed from IMFX on our chart and we would do the same for any other charts that say waiting for update. Returning to the market watch we right click and see that we can open a new order by either clicking here or pressing F9. When we do so we see the order box. We have the ability to choose any other currency other than the one that we originally selected and we can in the volume box put the number of lots that we wish to trade because IMFX is an STP broker, the only orders that can be placed are market orders because they go straight to market. We also have the opportunity to place pending orders, which are either buy or sell limits or buy or sell stops. All of the details of placing orders will be covered in another video tutorial. We have the tick chart to the left where we can literally see every tick for each currency. When done with the order box, assuming we're not placing an order, we simply click on the X. Back to Market Watch, we notice across the top that we have the symbol and the bid and the ask price for each currency. These are also known as the the ask is known as the buy price and the bid is known as the sell price. We notice that the arrows are either green or red. That indicates the price is going up with a green arrow and going down with a red arrow. Right clicking once again we see that we have the opportunity to open up a new chart window. We simply highlight the currency that we wish to choose, click chart, and a new chart window will open for that specific currency. These details once again will be covered on yet another video tutorial. Returning to Market Watch, we have the opportunity to toggle between the tick chart and the price chart by simply clicking here or pressing the spacebar. Alternatively, we can also click on the tabs at the bottom. Right clicking once again, we have the opportunity to save a set of prices. Earlier, I did so by clicking on Save As, calling it Favorite, and now if I go back and right click and click on my favorite, it shows just the particular currencies that I would prefer to trade with a particular session. And then to get back, we can simply right click and click on Show All. Next, we see we have the op option of High and Low. If we click here, we have the opportunity not only to see the bid and ask prices, but also the high and low for a particular day. To make the box larger, we simply hover our mouse and we can make it larger by scrolling to the right. We then have the high and low prices and the bid and ask for a particular session. Once we are done, we simply untick the box and we can move 
our line back to where it was originally. Finally, we have the option of pop-up prices. We can right click, make sure it's always on the top. We can toggle full screen. We can also show the high and the low, the current time. We can have grid lines or not have grid lines. And as I did earlier, we can change the colors by clicking on properties. So every currency is shown with the bid and ask prices. Once we are done with this box, we simply click the X. And that is it for this video tutorial on the market watch function of MetaTrader 4. Thank you for your time and attention and I look forward to seeing you on the next video tutorial.